Hi parents, guardians, and students in online geometry. I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of go over some logistics, some information. Um, most of this has already been relayed, but I just want to make sure that you guys are getting all the information. Uh, first thing, if you email me, parents or students, please make sure to put your son or daughter's first and last name and also that they are in online geometry. That'll make it a lot easier for me when I'm responding to the emails. Um, second thing, online geometry, you guys have a quiz on Tuesday that is over your review packet. Um, so it's over everything that is in this smaller purple packet. Um, so how this will work is I will release the quiz at 8 a.m. Tuesday and it will shut off at 9 p.m. Tuesday evening. You will have 45 minutes to complete the quiz. So once you think you're ready for the quiz, just really make sure that you're ready because if you sit down and start it, you can't walk away, you can't do anything because it will literally shut off at 45 minutes whether you are finished or not. So you need to be prepared to sit down, take the quiz, and be done. Um, 45 minutes is plenty of time to actually finish the quiz as long as you are working on taking it that time. Um, if for some reason you do not take the quiz on Tuesday, you will have to set up a Google Meet to take it on the Meet with me at some point on Wednesday the following day, okay? Um, you guys turned in a uh, assignment where you had to annotate. Please go look at my comments on the assignment. Not everybody had comments, but some of you guys had comments. But what I did notice is that some of us are just using a calculator and getting a decimal answer, which completely goes against all the notes that I put into the Schoology folder. So make sure you're watching the video notes. Those tell you a lot of information and how to do problems. Also, some of you guys didn't show any work on that page. And so, and I even said in directions, no work, no credit. The whole point is not for me to see what the answer is because I don't know if you did it or I know that the calculator sometimes can give those answers so I need to see the work to make sure that you truly understand the concept, okay? Um, grades, your grades are updated in PowerSchool. So everything was due by noon today, and then I released the new folder. Um, so anytime you turn in an assignment, whether it's late or not late, it will not be graded until Wednesday. So I do all my grading on Wednesday, and I will transfer from Schoology over to PowerSchool. So let's say you turn in an assignment late Friday, and you still email me, hey, I turned this in, why am I not seeing it in PowerSchool, or why is it not popping up in Schoology? It's not popping up because it's considered late. I have 150 students, and you guys each at this point only have eight assignments-ish. That's a lot of assignments for me to manage to be able to see, okay, this person turned in, this person turned in late, and go back and forth, and then manually upload all those individually into PowerSchool. So that's why Wednesdays I will take to grade all late work, grade current work, and, look, and transfer it from Schoology to Power School. So parents, if you're wanting to see their up-to-date grade, Wednesday evening is the best time to look at it. If you want to look at it on a Friday or if you want to check with your son or daughter's progress in the class, what I recommend is using the parent side of Schoology and going to the grade book and looking there. Or if you don't know how to do that or would rather not do that, just ask your son or daughter, hey, pull up Schoology, go to the grade book, show me your math class. It will tell you what they've turned in and if it automatically grades it, it will have a score there. If it doesn't automatically grade it and it's something that I have to go in and grade, it will still show that they have turned it in. Um, sometimes you may even want to randomly click on an assignment and actually make sure that they turned stuff in in that assignment and just didn't upload a blank worksheet or something like that. So that would be what I would recommend you guys do. Um, I do have pop-up question and answer sessions. I've been emailing randomly about those sessions. Um, so when I have a pop-up session, if you have some questions, just hop on there. Even if you don't have questions, someone else may have a question that is helpful to you. Um, let me go to your class here on Schoology real quick. So here's your geometry. These buttons actually work now. Don't click on the picture, but the words below it. So here's to your one-on-one -on -one conference. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one conference, you go to this Google form, fill it out, tell me your first and last name, and tell me what you're wanting to talk about. Um, or you can email me and say, hey, I need help with this, and I will email you back with a Google Meet and a time that we can meet. These are all very helpful. Link to my email, link to Desmos Graphing Calculator. Tutoring help on Mid-Continent is awesome, guys. So if you have a library card, I believe you have to have the number, um, there is a tutoring link on that, and it will be a live person. So if you have a question at 9 o'clock at night, you could possibly jump onto this, get a live person to help you answer it. 
I don't know the extent of how much time they're going to be able to spend with you, but I have heard that like you could ask a question and maybe that's the end, and then you can jump on again and maybe a different person if you have another question. Khan Academy is also very helpful in, under, in um, going over the concepts. Uh, remember, I fill out all the notes myself, and I go through all the notes on the video, so make sure you're watching those. And then there's the online book. These are all links to the folders. So we're in unit folder zero right now. So there's last week's work and then this week's work. I put everything in there in order. So what to do, a video of what to do, but then also a write-up of what to do. And then it goes in order of what you should actually do. So organization, I want to talk about that. So here's this what to do week three. What I recommend is I recommend you getting yourself a manila folder, okay? And in this manila folder, put any notes that we currently have in math class. So this is only for math. You may want to put some blank paper in there also. Then on the front, anytime I email you with a pop-up session, write pop-up session, the, the date, maybe Friday, September uh, 25th at whatever time it is, and then the code. So you can keep a running um, tally of those, so you can always jump on it if you want. What I also recommend you doing is printing off that what to do this week and putting it into the folder. And then when you're ready to work on math, you take out that sheet, and let's say you've already done number one and two, so those are crossed off. You know that you need to start at number three. And then you can also see visually, okay, what do I still need to do? So that would help in staying organized. Um, uh, sorry, I'm going through my list of what I need to talk to you guys about, and I think that that may be all. Um, so I just wanted to go through that one more time to make sure that you guys were understanding how this is all working. So if you need help, let me know you need help. Otherwise, make sure you're going through those folders, doing things in order. Wednesdays at noon, items are late past that. Make sure that you turn everything in on time, guys, and keeping up. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.